Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video, we're going to learn all about the 1998 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 5 GSR. Now, this car is only available for purchase at the used car dealer on GT7. And if you aren't familiar with the used car dealer, it rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day. So this car may or may not be available for you to purchase at the time that you watch this video, but it will eventually rotate back into being available for purchase again in the near future. So be sure to check back often for its availability. And currently this car is selling for 73,400 credits. So I'm going to click on this car and we'll get started by going over some of its specs. First, it comes stock with 500.15 performance points. It has a four-wheel drive drivetrain, so the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle and it provides power to all four wheels. The maximum stock power is 306 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. The weight is just barely under 3,000 pounds and the engine is turbo aspirated. Now we're going to click on learn more and see what Andy has to say about this car. There have been many Lancer Evolution models over the years, and among the most popular of all was the Evo 5. In fact, today, it's a highly sought-after collectible, with people all over the world clamoring to get their hands on one. The sport-tuned suspension really shines when you whip the car around a racetrack. Its turbocharged engine has power to spare, and the aerodynamic body makes the car look race-ready as ever, don't you think? All right, that's everything we can learn about the car from the used car dealer. So we're going to back out to the main menu now and go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. So here at the garage, I'm going to click on change car and scroll down to M for Mitsubishi. And here we are and here is the car. So I'm going to click on this car. We'll listen to the startup sound and then we'll learn some more about it. Alright, we're going to click on Car Collection, go to this car, and we'll learn some more by reading this short description about it. The 5th Gen Evo impressed with its bolder looking flared fenders and an engine that produced more torque. The Lancer Evolution took a major leap forward in August of 1996 with the Evo 4. It completely redefined the model, starting with the 4G63 power plant, which was flipped around 180 degrees in the engine bay. And output was raised to 276.1 horsepower and 260.4 foot-pound of torque. But perhaps the most noteworthy change was the introduction of the electronically controlled AYC, or Active Yaw Control, that replaced the mechanical LSD of previous models. Building on the success of the Evo 4, the Evo 5 appeared in January of 1998, with a slightly enlarged body to meet WRC specifications. The Evo 5 had more torque than its predecessor, rated to 274.9 foot-pound, and came with a new helical LSD for the front differential. In January of 1999, Mitsubishi introduced the Evo 6. While the car looked basically the same as the Evo 5, there were significant differences under the sheet metal, including a refined engine and retuned suspension system. In January of 2000, the first anniversary model was offered, as well as another special model that commemorated Tommy Mackinnon's four consecutive WRC championships. This special edition model, limited to only 2,500 units, featured a large front spoiler, a revised suspension stroke, and quick, quicker steering, among other things. It proved to be the final and ultimate example of the truly groundbreaking second-generation Lancer Evolution. All right, some great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. And we're going to back out to the main menu and go next door to the cafe, where we'll see if anybody's here to talk to us about this car. And there's two people. We have Chris and Kagurazaka. So we're going to start with Chris. Hmm, let's have a closer look. The Lancer Evo series really improved its handling performance from this Evo 5 generation. The body was made wider to incorporate the wider track. The tires were wider, wrapped around 17-inch wheels, and Brembo brake calipers were standard. It was one of the greatest four-wheel drive sports cars of the world. All right, now we'll go to Kagurazaka and see what he has to say. Historically speaking, a lot of road cars that became the base for rally cars are really attractive. 
Cars like the Mini Cooper S, Audi Quattro, and Lancia Delta are all cars that have a very utility-oriented package of, as family cars. These are beasts that live in the city. Of course, a real rally car couldn't be driven on the streets. So, in terms of design, it's about how to express the expanded potential within the framework of a road car. The Evo 5 takes in the much-awaited larger wheels with over-fenders. It gives a straightforward three-box sedan the legs of an athlete. And together with the iconic massive fog lights and rear wing of a rally car, it completes the elegant and sporty design of the second generation of Lancer Evo. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car, but we are going to make one final stop at the tuning shop where I'll show you everything that can be done to this car to improve its performance and power. So I have not done anything to this car to upgrade it in any way, but I will show you everything that can be done to it. Under the sports category, everything on this page is available for purchase. Under club sports, you cannot add high compression pistons, but everything else on this page is fair game. Under semi-racing, you cannot add a supercharger, but everything else on this page can be added to this car. And lastly, under the racing category, you cannot add a high-end supercharger, the fourth stage of weight reduction, or the active LSD controller, but everything else on this page, which is a lot, uh, can be added to this car and get it ready for the track. Alright, well that's everything we can learn about this car from Gran Turismo 7, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.